Hello and welcome to the MongoDB Atlas tutorial series. My name is Jay and I'm a developer advocate at MongoDB and I'm here to teach you the ins and outs of using our database as a service, MongoDB Atlas. Today we'll discuss replication, redundancy, and recovery of your cluster with MongoDB Atlas. All MongoDB Atlas instances, paid or free, have a default of three nodes as a minimum within your cluster. There's no ability to launch a cluster with less than three nodes in it. To view the status of each node on your cluster, click on the name of the cluster. You'll see the three green dots to the left of each node. If one of the nodes fails, you'll see a caution symbol with an exclamation point on it. Within seconds of a failed ping from our monitoring agent to our management system, Atlas will send you a notification based on alert settings. If your MongoDB database node does not recover, Atlas will remove the failed node from the set, replace it with a new node, and sync data from your primary. We'll then enter your new node into service and then notify you when completed. You'll retain existing connection string details as we will preserve DNS settings for each node. As you can see here in the alert section, any changes made to the MongoDB Atlas cluster will be stored within here, so you can always go back and check the history. Once your recovery happens, you won't need to worry yourself about modifying your connection string or making any changes to the server. They'll just continue to work as normal. If you're running into any issues related to using MongoDB Atlas features, contact our support team at any time. You can click the support link in the lower left of your Atlas interface, or you can just go to mongodb.com contact. And thanks for watching.